Good morning and welcome to our cute little house in South Spain. <laughs> so in the last video you saw us arriving to Marbella, but this is more on like on the countryside I would say. Because yeah, we want to try it living on different places and this is in an area called Este Pona. We really like it here, look how cute it is. We have our own little garden to do some sunbathing in and yeah. Just have grass is so cozy and i don't know if you saw when we walked in we have our own avocado tree which is so cool um i don't think they're right but here is our terrace with um markham inspired what is called umbrella umbrella <laughs> and this is what i really like with this place you just walk in from nature inside to the home so here is our little living room, our workspace area, and then we have our small tiny kitchen. I was actually a little bit afraid if this kitchen would work. It's working pretty well actually, don't you think? Yep. So here is our fruit ripening station. We have some papaya, pitaya, mangoes. I have my props. I don't know what else to say about the kitchen. Of course I brought the Vitamix. Then we have the bathroom. Then we have our bedroom. It's a really tiny house and you get a challenge to have less stuff which we love. I'm gonna make some breakfast because I am super hungry. Let's do it. Mm -mm -mm. I love smoothie balls. Um, so in this one we have some um, frozen bananas, of course. Perfect to use as a base if you want a creamy, thick smoothie. And then I also got some celery sticks, two celery sticks. Then I also went for some fresh uh, baby spinach. I first blended these uh, three things up, the spinach, celery and orange juice, because when you're gonna blend the frozen bananas later, you get a more evenly green color if you care about those things, which I do. And blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. Then I added some peanut butter and then I also added some granola, uh, hemp seed, and then I also added a uh, fresh mango. I've eaten so much fruit since I've got here because they taste so much more sweeter, they're juicy. Um, I just love it. So more fruit on top. Uh, yeah, here we have it. A uh, nice and thick and creamy smooth wall. When it's hot, I want more like a light slider meal or a cold meal. So I'm gonna do an avocado toast with some um, roasted chickpeas. The recipe is in my app, Avo Pita Pizzas. But I'm not gonna use pita bread, I'm gonna use regular whole wheat bread. First what you wanna do is to just uh, rinse and drain the chickpeas and add them to an oven tray lined line with the baking. Um, parchment paper. <laughs> Two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you can add oil if you want to. I'm not gonna add some oil. Usually I don't cook with oil. You decide what you want to do. Then you just bake them in oven on 200 celsius degrees for about 20 minutes. And while those are baking, we're gonna prep the avocado. I usually don't like to have just like a toast or a sandwich for lunch, but with this recipe, when you add the chickpeas, it adds more protein and also more fiber, which makes you stay full for longer. And that's like something I always think about when I do meals to incorporate everything like protein, fats and uh, carbs. And this is a perfect example. when 
um, avocado is like really really ripe um, this is exactly like that mm. this papaya is actually from a market uh, fruit and veggie kind of market in an area called San Pedro which is uh, another area that we really like we were on the market a few days ago and wow the fruits oh my god they had pitaya by the way, which I love. The fruit was locally grown, so yeah, I just love it. It's so cool that you can buy locally grown uh, fruits and veggies. And yeah, also about the like living situation. I'm sure you're wondering if are we gonna stay here now forever? So we found this on a place called Idealista, so it's not on Airbnb. And we're gonna stay here for a month, so that will be for three more weeks. Then we will see, maybe we'll extend, maybe not, I don't know, maybe somewhere else. Um, wait. Hopefully somewhere else, because we like to uh, figure out where. We really like the area here because it's super calm. We have another area which uh, actually a follower said to me, Elviria it's called. It's more on the east side of uh, the Marbella town, which we're gonna check out later uh, this week. <laughs> And since you always want my recipes, I most often take a photo and publish it to my app. This will be soon out uh, next week. 